Hi, it's Moana Robinson here with another Take a Moment. I'm from Be Style for Life and I've got Jan here with me who's a wonderful friend of mine and she's also an amazing chef and a passionate foodie. So we're going to chat today about something that affects a lot of people and that's eating out or eating at home if you are a celiac. And I had known Jan for quite a long time before I realised that she was celiac. She didn't make a fuss about it, she just used to manage her diet the way that she's always done it um, in a very simple and easy way. So what Jan is doing is she is starting a series of videos to give people inspiration about cooking and eating if you're a celiac. So Jan, can you tell me how you cope with being a celiac? When I first found out, I was quite stressed about it and I, I cried a lot. I thought, oh, poor pitiful me. Then I thought, hello, there's a lot worse things that can happen to you. And really, if you just take a step back and think, how am I going to do this? Number one, I'm a passionate foodie. So all I had to do mm -hmm. was go into the marketplace and look at fresh fruit and vegetables yep. and meat and whole products. So all I do to make it super easy is just use fresh produce. So paddock to plate sort of stuff I'm talking about. So like you go to the veggie shop, you just buy unprocessed food. So, and it's super easy. When I first started, I started reading all the packets and I went, you know what, I don't have time for that. Reading mm. all the packets and what's in it and what preservatives are and there's all different numbers that I don't really understand what they are. Yep. So I thought, you know what, I'm forgetting about that. I'm shortcutting this and going straight to the farmers mm -hmm. and I'm just dealing with tomatoes, fresh fruit and vegetables, herbs. So then I planted myself a, a beautiful herb garden. I got my husband to build me this really nice patch. And not only is it good for me, I find it uh, quite zenning, quite calming every morning yeah. to water my garden and watch it grow. Mm -hmm. And then um, my husband does the eye roll, eye roll. When I go out on a Sunday morning and I have a special little basket and I have my scissors and I cut all my basil and my chives and take it back into the kitchen and make my scrambled eggs with my gluten-free bread. Mm -hmm. And um, then I have a lovely coffee with my crema and my lactose-free milk yeah. and I feel like a normal person. And it's really not that hard at all. So I think when you have a problem, you just need to take a step back and think, how can I do better and make it easy for myself and take the stress out. So mm. yeah, so it's really quite easy. It's no big deal. So the first video you did was making gluten-free bread, wasn't yes. it? Yes. And you're going to have a series of videos yeah. specialising in the gluten-free exactly right. food. I've had so many, I teach in a cooking school and um, I work at a beautiful uh, marketplace called Mercado and I have a lot of my students, a lot of my clients and I also do consulting for people and a lot of people are loving my gluten-free bread and all things like that and everything that I'm doing. So because I can't one-on-one -on -one now, um, sometimes it's easier just to make a video and then put it up on YouTube and then you can share the love with everyone and then everyone gets to do the magic and everyone gets to do it and then people have been coming to me um, and asking me to do different things and show them how to do it and I'm really happy to do that because I'm yeah. um, inspiring people and helping people to eat healthy and to take the stress out of their lives is a really big deal these days. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's what we want. Yeah. So you've got time to have girl time, yeah. um, like we do a lot, and yeah. go to lunch and work hard, play hard, I say. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Jan, thank you so much for taking a moment. The best way that you can help Jan is watch her videos, get inspired by them, which you definitely will do, and just like and share them with anyone else who you think might be interested. So thank you for taking a moment with us. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Bye. I'll see you in video land. <laughs> Bye.